Hi, I'm Kelly Doyle with Kelly Doyle Homes and Realty Executives, and it is time for your monthly market update. We are in June, summer weather is here. Let's find out what has been happening. May numbers are here, so let's dive in. Okay, so supply and demand is the name of the game, right? Uh, economists always talk about that, and that is a huge depiction of basically the environment of the real estate market right now is under supply. We have an undersupply of homes, and economists uh, inform us that you know when there's less of an item for sale and demand is really high for that item, consumers are willing to pay more for that item, and that is what we're seeing out there. And so the undersupply of homes is also leading to bidding wars in certain situations, certain homes, and so that can lead to price increases as well. And so that is kind of, again, the name of the game as far as what we're seeing out there. So let's dive into some of the actual numbers uh, for May, since May numbers are out. So let's compare this May to last May. Number of sales. Number of sales for this May compared to last May were down 18.3%. Woo, that's a lot. Um, you know, it went from 876 sales last year to 716 sales this year. So that's down 18.3%. Uh, you would assume that that is kind of, you know, not a great thing to hear. However, the interesting thing is what prices did. Did prices also go down? A lot of people were thinking that might happen. Uh, prices this May, or I'm sorry, the median price for this May compared to the median price of last May was 299,000 last year. This year it's 309,950. So the median price increased by 3.4%. And again, undersupply is, is the main reason there. Uh, when you're dealing with sales being down and prices increasing, you gotta look at listings. And so if you pull out the number of new listings in the south central Wisconsin area, what was happening there, and for May, the number of new listings this May compared to last May were down 28.3%. So you had a lot fewer homes coming on the market this May than you did last May, yet sales weren't down 28.3%, sales were only down 18.3%. And so buyers were still out looking, they had fewer homes to pick from, hence why prices still increased even in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> okay, let's jump back and take a look at year to date. So that was a kind of taken May snapshot. Let's step back and take January through May last year versus this year. Sales last year uh, to date were also compared to this year are down 2.7%. So last year up until this point there were 2,812 sales. This year there were 2,737 sales. So a decline again in sales, 2.7%. Let's look at prices though. What were prices doing? Prices year to date this year compared to last year still increased 4.2%. So again, when you see the number of new listings decrease, the sales didn't necessarily decrease by that same percentage. And so you still had buyers out, they had fewer homes to choose from, uh, demand is still there and supply is extremely low. So that has been what's been going on uh, year to date so far, uh, along with you know the new listings declining as well. Prices are still going up, but let's look at months of inventory. And if you aren't sure what months of inventory are, you'll have to check out uh, the real estate definitions video I've done uh, to, to get the actual definition of that. But again, anything under six months of inventory is a seller's market. So let's look at this broken down by price point. 125,000 up to 200,000. So if your home is falling in that category, what is the month of inventory? It looks like you're sitting at about 2.4 months of inventory right now. So basically if your home is priced under 200,000 in Dane County, there is about 2.4 months of inventory. So significantly under that six month mark. Six month is a balanced market. Anything under six months is a seller's market. So still a very strong seller's market in that price point. 200,000 up to 350,000. What is that price point doing? And that looks like it's pretty much hanging around the same mark as 2.5 months of inventory. So still significantly under that six month mark. So it's still a pretty good strong seller's market there. 
So interesting, we jump up um, for home prices, uh, for homes priced 350,000 up to 500,000. What is, what is the market doing there? And that's about 4.5 months of inventory. So that's interesting. Uh, it's just kind of starting to trickle up closer to that balanced market, but still under six months and still a seller's market. Uh, very interesting though are this is that luxury market. So homes over 500,000 right now are sitting at about 7.5 months of inventory. So that's over that six month mark. So that is technically a buyer's market for homes over 500,000 and not abnormal to see that. Uh, just a very interesting numbers how the market varies substantially uh, given on the price point that your home is priced in. And so it's just good to be aware of that if you are a seller that's about to get your home on the market, what kind of market you're entering into. So uh, interest rates as of May 28th, when the numbers were released, 3.15% for a 30 year fixed is what was reported. So crazy good interest rates, just continuing that buyer demand. Uh, so we just need more homes on the market basically. And to sum up, um, you know, a lot of people thought that maybe home prices, we were gonna see a decline with the whole COVID-19 and the economic slowdown that we were seeing with all of that. Uh, experts disagree. So as we approach the second half of this year, uh, we will likely see home prices rise uh, even higher given the continuation and the lack of supply of homes. So that's kind of the name of the game, supply and demand. And we have an undersupply of homes. So, and, and since those stay at home order is starting to be lifted, uh, we're starting to see showings and offers picking up and we can expect uh, closings and the number of sales to hopefully return to normal level, levels um, in July and maybe even beyond. So as always, if you want specific numbers for your home and your neighborhood and your area, please contact me and I'm happy to get that over for you. And again, I am Kelly Doyle with Kelly Doyle Homes and Realty Executives. We'll check you next time.